I am terrific, excited to talk to you, a hero, because I'm such an astronaut fan. Um, my father was uh, working at JPL for years, and uh, um, what an exciting time we live in um, for space travel. Absolutely. I think we're really on a precipice of change, much like, you know, going from barnstorming to commercial uh, airliner flights. Uh, we are changing how we're going to approach being in space, what we do in space, how we commercialize space, and all the things that we can benefit from here on Earth with all those technologies. It really is a very, very interesting uh, uh, thing about how we've approached space travel because, you know, of course, it was, it was always government, you know, uh, under the government scrutiny and all of that. But now as private companies are getting into space travel, I think things are moving forward a little quicker. Well, I, you know, space flight is very difficult. And even with the, you know, Boeing and SpaceX have had many delays getting to this point, but uh, we really are ready to change, I think. And it, it is important to recognize that spaceflight is challenging, uh, but we, we are really taking the next step. That's why this flight is so exciting, so important. You know, everything down to the fact that the FAA had to certify this flight rather than NASA. NASA has always certified human spaceflight before this. So this is an exciting thing for us, and we're learning all the new ways that we're going to have to deal with everything as we move forward uh, with commercial ventures. And I think the optimal solution in the future is going to be, you know, government and uh, commercial partners working together, obviously on an international scale, uh, in order to accomplish the really, really big things in space. And it's going to be an exciting time. I think so. And of course, you know, it, it brings jobs to people. It brings careers and uh, uh, interest, again, it, you know, in a space program that we haven't seen in a while. I know. And it, the everyday process of living on board the space station for the last 20 years, uh, I think gets under-recognized and some of the science that has been completed up there. But I, I am really appreciate the fact that uh, there is this new interest in space. And, and I think it's really an important one because of how we can potentially expand uh, our commercial ventures in space with commercial space stations like the one Axiom's been funded for. And uh, again, future missions by SpaceX, whether or not they go to space station or other locations. It's going to be a lot of fun to see how things change in the next five to 10 years. I think it's going to be a pretty dramatic one. I think this pandemic has given everybody an appreciation of what you guys go through in space, the close quarters and, and all. Yes, the isolation, I think, not being around too many people is something we do work on in space. You know, we, we have an internet protocol phone where we can call folks or, or email access. Our internet is pretty slow still. <laughs> now, the next launch is in just a couple of days. Uh, it, again, People are, are tuning in to the, to the launches more and more because uh, there, there is this renewed interest in, in all of this. And I think that's great. It is. And on, on Saturday, we'll be able to watch on Discovery and Science Channel our Space Launch Live, where myself and three other astronauts, plus a lot of other experts, are going to be talking about the behind the scenes of what gets the rocket ready to go and and what the crew is going through, what they've gone through to get ready to go, plus what they're going to go be going through in that that eight minute ride or eight and a half minute ride to go from zero to seventeen thousand five hundred miles an hour to get to space. Uh, in our final seconds we have together, I do want to congratulate you. You you hold the record for the longest time in space, the most spacewalks. Uh, we're we're just really proud of you. Oh well, thank you very much. It's. It's such an honor to be a part of the space program. Uh, obviously, one person doesn't make that happen. It's, you know, it was NASA and a lot of other people that contribute. Uh, and it's a really important lesson about working as a team uh, to make something successful. And so I'm happy, thrilled to be a part of it. And, and, and you being a biochemist, though, that what a great job that is as well. Yeah, I love it. And I love doing biochemistry in space, too, although I got to do a lot of different kinds of science in space. So that was fun. Do you ever watch science fiction movies and, and criticize them for getting it wrong? Well, it's kind of hard not to, but uh, I really enjoyed uh, 
the book, The Martian, and I thought they did a pretty good job on the movie. I talked a lot about the psychology needed and, you know, how NASA works. And I, I, I thought that was pretty impressive. And you're very impressive, too. Thank you for your time this morning and uh, all the best. All right. Thank you. And all the best to you folks as well. This celebrity interview is sponsored by... I'm Annette Severella with Pia Anderson Moss Hoyt, Utah's leading entertainment law firm serving clients nationwide. We provide solid, attentive representation, focusing on minimizing risk, reducing cost, and protecting the reputation and privacy of our clients. Our goal is to provide you with the legal representation you need to make the right decisions and to protect you and your creative works. Call or email me for a free consultation.